that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, oh, 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 oh. The acclaimed face the heralded team of Starboy Charlie and Jack Cartwheel. But the announcers just buried these guys a thousand feet beneath the earth. Starboy Charlie is talented. What was he wearing? Is he Farm Boy Charlie? Fuck he looked sick. like he raided Uncle Elmer's closet for coveralls that were in Uncle Elmer's size. I was waiting for Don't Go Messing With the Country Boy to come over the loudspeaker. And he does have his 1980s parody gear. He's out there with the ultimate warrior tassels and his horrible name in his bald spot. Wow. Jack Golly. Wheel. Anything else, Vinny? Starboy You're Charlie is You're a horrible person. There. I am. Oh, did we mention, by the way, that uh, Max Caster rhymed Walgreens with small peen? That should be cataloged. Jose the Assistant. Mm -hmm. Does he have a last name? Assistant. W what does he assist yeah. with? I don't know that. What do I know about Jose? He's an assistant. I don't know anything about this guy. I bet this guy don't even know Wikipedia. Jose, Jose the ass. Okay, Jose the assistant. Okay. Don't Google Jose the ass. Jose Garcia. See, that's new. I didn't fucking know his last name was Garcia. Born 1985. We don't know when he was born in 1985. He was just born in, which I don't even know if that's true. We've got to narrow down to 300. How the fuck days. do you know he's born in 85, but you don't like the month and date? You're making shit up at that point. After a hiatus from in-ring competition began in September 2018, Garcia began making appearances for all the wrestling in 2021 under the name Jose the Assistant. That's all they have for AW. That's the whole Wikipedia for his AW run. Tretch. 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 Tretch? Is that what I said? Tretch. Is it Trench? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Well, it's very important because his last name is Coat. So it doesn't work if his name is Tretch. Yes. You're an idiot. Is he, though? I don't know. What's his last name? <laughs> I don't know what his last name okay, is. I, thought maybe I don't know Jose's last name either. <laughs> there could be a Jose the <laughs> Both assistant. of their last name could be Coat. Brian, what are your thoughts on the new AW Saturday show? What would you like to see from it? Less. Well, who's calling for that? Nobody's watching Rampage. Who's going to watch the third one? says here, tell the most embarrassing St. Patrick's story day. Saint Excuse me, St. Patrick's? St. Patrick's day story or any other drunk story. Whoever wrote this question may have been drunk. Did I spell Patrick wrong? Somebody did. I checked it to make yeah. sure, too. You didn't check didn't it, right? <laughs> One time when I was 10 years old, I accidentally got drunk at a St. Patrick's day parade. 10? And it was such a scandal, they have reinstated prohibition all across Springfield and replaced Police Chief Wiggum with a guy named Rex Banner. And then my dad became a bootlegger called the Beer Baron. Huh. He uh, he stole that from Family Guy. Yes. <laughs> Baylor versus Cordy Rhodes. Cordy. Cody. I'm going to quit right now. I didn't say a word. That was Craig. Ring Baylor for one. Huh? <laughs> huh? Granny, listen, I, I know you don't like when we interrupt, but Cody did not face Balor. What did I watch then? I don't know. December 2019. Okay, now we know when it is. Corbin versus Rhodes. In 2019? That's what it says. Punches hard on each other. Closed line. <laughs> April 2nd, 2020. Reigns against his cousin Jay. I got to say, Granny, that every time you do a review now, it's like a, it's like a trivia thing. Everyone's madly Googling to try and find out when this actually took place. Was this hell in a cell? Because it was definitely not April of 2020. That got it right here, April 2nd, 2020. October 2020 is when that match was, Granny. No. <laughs> okay. What else, what else do you have? Uh, no more wrestling. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit doing that anyway. <laughs> I'm done with you guys for today. MJF's Rebar Mitzvah. Barrier Horowitz did not run in, sadly. Maybe that's down the road. As a man who is not Jewish, you know, I don't know if I can convert at this age or whatever, but this fucking party looked like the best time. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. <laughs> they put him in this chair. They're singing. The crowd's clapping along. They're, you know, throwing him up in the air in this chair. This crowd's having the time of their life. Jungle Boy interrupts MJF. Sammy Guevara interrupts Jungle Boy. Darby Allen interrupts Sammy Guevara. You know, there's an entire locker room, and they bust their ass, and they maybe get like 60 seconds a week, and you're coming out here, and you get like 20 minutes to do all of your hokey bullshit, and it's funny because you don't ever actually hear people say that, but the funny thing is, there are people who do say that. Sure. And then he was told he was supposed to be the inner circle's job guy, or the bump guy for Chris Jericho. 
I thought, okay, that, that's that's too much inside baseball. <laughs> you've you've uh, you've gone from peeling back the curtain to setting the curtain on fire. Why bring up that there are people in AEW who don't want to be there? Just don't mention it. Just say your bidding war of 2024 is a load of shit. Like, there will never be a bidding war because I love it here. I don't want to leave, and this is why. That's all you have to say. When you do a shoot promo, only the dumbest dumb shits believe it's a shoot, okay? Like, the bottom of the barrel in your Twitter mentions. I mean, they're the only people stupid enough to believe it's a shoot. Everyone else, they know it's not a shoot, so you're, like, pulling back the curtain for no reason because you ain't fooling anybody. So stop with the shoot bullshit. Juice Robinson is a promo. It's not why I attack. Not Juice. Hard rock, rock hard. Sorry, God damn it. Fuck it. Man, she comes out and she's got so much charisma and the fans are going crazy and they're popping for everything she does. And then I hear people on the internet go, I didn't like her music. She called them neck beard stinky twats. And then she just stops and she goes, Tony, you should take over. Something like that. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm just, done. I'm all done. Yeah. Like, I said twat. I need to just move on now. House of Black wins, and Winnipeg goes silent. Bad month for Canadians challenging for titles and main events of big shows. This was a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. The hangman was standing there, and the elite had his back. What is going to happen next week? What is what is going to happen with the Hangman and the Young Bucks? What is going to happen with the Blackpool Combat Club? How is everything going to play into this? And boy, those matches, Blackpool Combat Club against the Elite in six-man matches? Let me tell you something. I think that might be all right. Then there is, on the calendar, drinks and dinner with Sebastian. Yes. At which point, Fallon shouts at the top of her lungs, What a bitch! <laughs> That's what this woman says, who has broken into Kiana James' office. Then they find the card. Thanks for the date. It was truly an unforgettable night and morning. Sebastian. Yes. Fallon Henley is overjoyed because it means she's right. And being right is more important to her than her friend's emotional well-being. They say, give a man a mask, and he will show you his true face. They do? Who the fuck says that? Paulo Cruz and Yaba Dabakato. Holy shit. Yaba Dabakato is a shorter, fatter Giant Gonzalez. They did a much, much, much worse version of the Matt Damon-Christian Bale fight scene from Ford vs. Ferrari. Although Candace was... I think she was trying to be concerned, but it came off. This whole thing was so stupid. Get out of here. Stop. Uh, Quill was the star of this horrible segment. Quill was great. She's a very cute baby. All right. Carmelo Hayes and Braun Breaker did a contract signing, hosted by Pretty Deadly since they're the hosts. This of the sucked. The I was so excited match. for this like two weeks ago. Yeah. The, they, they have ruined this match <laughs> yeah, with the build. To sabotage this match. It's supposed to be the other way. Fucking make me care. This did not make me care. 